Hey folks, we're back and uh, properly lubricated here. I had to take a bit of a break uh, sitting under two kilowatts of tungsten work lights. Uh, takes a toll on you. Felt like I was out working in the yard. Okay, so where do we leave off? Uh, we are looking for tools. We're looking for tools. We found the tools uh, for uh, torculating the barrel nut. Uh, buddy Jeff there may have moved this. Sorry if uh, things hopped around in the break there. Um, so, uh, of course, this be a, a now that we know we know uh, an inch and a quarter across uh, across the flats here. Uh, nothing uh, nothing on the clean big well big enough. I lied. Uh, this is the tool we're going to use. Uh, I did find one wrench that was the right size and uh, well it's a little unwieldy there. So uh, I like to use this one as a hammer personally. Um, so uh, that being the right size it doesn't. Uh, doesn't really help us when uh, this is so much uh, lighter, easier to use, and also I can get the perfect uh, fit and not round anything off, whereas uh, that guy is already uh, pre-rounded. So um, there was a, a spec in the in the manual, 36 foot pounds. Like I said, you know, I ain't I don't got a, a three foot deep uh, deep socket there. I don't have a crow's foot that's an inch and a quarter on hand. Um, so. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, um, and of course, this probably should be clamped somehow in a in a bench vise or something. But uh, I can't do the torque spec, so I'll worry about that later. <coughs> Click. <sighs> yep. I... Yeah, that's. I mean, I got it pressed up against my uh, torso here, but. I mean, that's already on there, it's about as tight as I can get it, I think. Um, just from hand hand tightening it with the, uh, this fella, the adapter kit on there, uh, is uh, good enough, I guess. Um, yeah, so... Not getting too fancy here again. May have to take it apart, lube it, all that jazz in the future. Trying to get this fella started again. It's a little finicky here with the uh, the flats on the end. It was actually easier to twist it around the round part. Fast forward to where this is done in about 10, ten minutes. Ouch, that hurt me on the inside. If I had a bigger wrench, I might even try to tighten across this guy. Um, so we got, uh, of course it's not lined up with the gas tube uh, hole yet, but I put these screws in there and tighten them down for it to, uh, to work anyway. There we go, there we go. Just getting them started. So they don't fall out on me. That yeah, was actually bottomed out. So I back up a quarter turn. I had a theory here. I'm gonna try to uh, it's because I picked up the wrong wrench. Amazing how close it fit and then it didn't. So these are actually uh, Torx. I got on the table two Allen wrenches and a Torx wrench, and they're all a uh, whiff from being the same size. Nope, can't tighten it up anymore. There's no um, no access to those screws with this guy on. So if you wanted to align it with the flats on this thing to this rail. Like say you wanted to put a rail, rail on here somewhere. Oh, well, top top ways is uh, a little different, but you want to put a rail on here and, and get it flat to flat. No way to do that because you can't get to the screws after the fact. Just like the slightest bit of movement takes so much force that as soon as you feel it, you've gone too far. Fellas, you know what I'm talking about. Ain't no Goldilocks in this situation. I mean, I can see, again, laser eyeball 
I can see that that it's not square. I'm only only a two degrees off or whatever, but your eye is good enough to pick that up. You might call it good enough, and then when we put it together and we find out that we don't like the way it looks, we're stuck with it because everything is seized up. So tighten up the screws. What I say? Two steps forward, three steps back. Now we got to step forward again. Uh, all right. We did this once before, unless I cut it out. Um, so gas block, hole for the gas block, hole for the gas, set screws, the gas block, set screw hole. So boop, 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 boop. Come down this way. Got lots of uh, freedom to move there. We want to find that hole. So wiggling it around, tighten the screw a little bit, wiggle some more, tighten the screw a little bit. We ain't we haven't touched off yet. Oh, something something's happening. Alright, we're still free to turn. Found it. So you can still wiggle, but that set screw is in the hole there. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep wiggling it as I tighten it up so that the set screw gets centered on that little divot. Yeah, this other set screw is not going to go as far. Now, I kind of wish they had given me a millimeter shorter screw for the front. But that would complicate their packaging and all that. They'd have to supply two different screws, source two different screws, so on and so forth. So, gas block, gas tube. Gas tube has a little bump in it, so it only goes one way. I watched a video the other day about a guy assembling this thing, and he definitely put the gas tube in the wrong way. So. Uh, if you put it in the wrong way and then force it, I don't know if you guys can see this. If you put it in the wrong way, it's too tall by a hair. See, it's going over the top. And I watched this video, I swear. This was a, a professional. Uh, some website uh, guy, you know, works at one of these uh, retailers. We won't name him, but yeah, it was a, a, a gun retailer. A uh, guy doing videos trying to sell a product, of course, you know, showing, oh, how easy it is. And he freaking put the thing in upside down and bent it. Not, like, permanently bent it, but sprung it down until it fit. And I'm like, something looks very wrong here. Of course, I knew in an instant, I said, that's not supposed to... Well, I knew, I'd never even done this before, and I said, that, you know, that has a kink in it. And obviously, it's supposed to go a certain way. And All right. Let's get some uh, blood on the water here. I'm afraid if I get this thing started with the one that's too small, it's going to slip inside the roll pin. So what we want here, just to support this a little bit more. Get it close enough that it starts to close up the roll pin so that I can use the real small one that's just sitting right inside the edges of this roll pin. So it, it will go down inside the gas block without hitting the sides. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. I'm afraid my undersized, this guy's even bent a little bit from the force of doing it. I'm afraid I'll break this guy. But I'm also afraid of that guy s spreading the, the roll pin out. If I don't want to cause any lasting damage, I should be using a brass thing, but of course for the purposes of not breaking it, brass is softer than everything else going on over here, which is why under a certain size they're not giving me a brass one because I can see a little brass dust from where this is cutting into it. Yep, there she blows. That is a dead one. Clever, clever fellows at the punch manufacturer gave me two of the same one. Yeah, it's it's just it doesn't even have enough purchase on the edge. It wants to slip through, and the next size up is big enough to cause some casualties on the uh, outer rim here. Just be real careful about it. That sounds careful to me, doesn't it sound careful to you? 
Yeah, it's, that's good enough. It's it's because this is at an angle. I got it in there far enough that it's past flush on one side and just kissing on the top side. So I'm just being persnickety. Ain't no reason it has to be perfect. You'll put it under the handguard and you'll never know. So now we got our gas tube. You can see the angle of the dangle. The bend here is going up. Uh, it's going through here. Uh, of course, given how long this fella is, well, it's shorter than our muzzle device. I guess it could go on now. Um, is there any reason I wouldn't want to do that? Nah, I'll end up taking this off anyway, right? Only about a hundred times. So, so what I was afraid of here is given that I had to get a thing to ram it off. See, I'm, I'm tearing the plastic here. So I'm put the aluminum in down. Got a, got a better side over here, flatter side. All right, looks like we're flush ways. Of course, uh, Mechanic and always involves a certain amount of violence. The boss man's got to get what's coming to him. Um, yep, so now we just got the uh, 11 teen screws that got to go back in. Torque the carbon fiber until smoke comes out. If you had got sharp particles in your eyes, you didn't tighten enough yet. Ooh, yeah, yeah, crunchy, crunchy sound uh, lets you know it's working. One thing I don't know if the camera's picking up on, I don't particularly care for, is, and I know, of course, this is going to be the case any time you're working with composites and you're cutting through things, there's a sharp burr on the inside of these holes, and I mean, I'm sure there's a way to deburr that, uh, but. I would have cost twice as much by the time they finished doing the CNC deburr in operation. So, um, there we go. We got the handguard, gas block, gas tube. Uh, I think up next is uh, it's going to be our uh, muzzle device. We got a Picatinny rails, and I'm saving the the best for last, of course. All right, taking a break. <laughs>